Anyway, uh, speaking about potassium, apparently no salt isn't being made anymore, and I think maybe Walmart bought them out because now the only thing we can find that has potassium in it is it says no salt, sodium free salt alternative. So they're still keeping the no salt name, but uh, for some reason we can't find that version anymore. But it's still potassium chloride, and that's the main thing. Let me put this back over here. Did you know that there are now sugar-free barbecue sauces? There you go. That's one version. Tastes great. It's got sucralose in it. Hey, if you like monster energy drinks, or any energy drink for that matter, why not go with sugar-free? You think, well, I don't want to put artificial stuff into my body, artificial sweeteners. Well, if you knew how much artificial stuff there was in here to begin with, that's one thing. But think of the damage that sugar does to your body. Do you want to do that to your body? I mean, ideally, you drink water all day, but most people don't want to do that. Water gets boring after a while. Here. <clears throat> Sugar-free, low-carb, Smucker's brand dessert topping. We put this in coffee a lot. And uh, it's fairly low-carb. Let's see. One tablespoon has... 20, let's see, 12 minus 7, 5, 5. So one tablespoon has five net carbs. Not bad. Sure makes your coffee tasty. Uh, here's uh, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Zero sugar. Speaking of Hershey's, they make sugar-free candy bars. One even had, oops, one even has caramel in it. They're just great. Take your Hershey bar in the morning, there's no carbs. Dip it in some peanut butter, which is, you know, fairly low carb. And you got yourself a de facto Reese cup, you know. And you can make that your breakfast if you eat enough of them. Eat about four or five of those little bars with peanut butter and coffee and call it breakfast. Speaking of Reese Cups, did you know Reese Cup or Reese Company makes sugar free Reese Cups? Zero sugar. And they are absolutely great. That's all I can say. Here. Jolly Rancher, of all people, make sugar-free candy. I mean, it tastes amazing. Most people have tried sugar-free gum. And if that tastes good, most people like sugar-free gum. What's wrong with sugar-free candy? Come on. Here's a strawberry flavored cream filled chocolate from Russell Stover, of all people. Everybody knows them. Sugar free. Great stuff. And they make all kinds mint, you know, and you name it. Here's a low carb noodle. This never used to exist when I made that first video. This never existed. At least not in this area. You can actually eat pasta now in the form of, you know, chicken noodle soup or any Italian dish. And uh, you got half the carbs. This has, whoa, 25 carbs per serving. But you have to subtract 8 grams of fiber. So 17 net carbs, which is what it says right on the package. See, Normal 
Normal pasta has about 35 carbs per serving. Uh, al dente carbonada, it's called. Carbonada. The only place we can find this is Meyer. Nobody else has anything like this. <clears throat> Here's another great find, although with the supply chain issues going on, it's hard to find these. And it's always sold out. They're not making enough of them, in other words. Uh, Walmart, great value brand, makes a lot of different pouched rices. But for some reason, this one kind has about half the carbs of all the others. It only has 19 carbs per cup. I mean, you gotta look, you gotta check your labels, check your net carbs. Again, it's total carbs minus fiber. So, <clears throat> I still don't understand this one. Because every other version, whether it's name brand or this brand, you know, great value, they all have twice as many carbs in them as this one type long grain and wild so every now and then we make something with rice maybe chicken and rice soup or something it's great half the carbs here's something we use every day in coffee mct oil also every now and then at work if i'm feeling a little hungry i'll grab a bag of uh whatchamacallit, uh, sunflower seeds that I have handy in my office, and then take a swig of this, and I'm not hungry again for hours. And when you get your blood sugar under control, um, you never really have hunger pangs anymore. It's just kind of a slow creeping feeling of, yeah, I could eat, you know, kind of like emptiness or something. You're never really hangry, and you're never really like craving food. Food becomes like a, I don't know, like an overhyped thing or something. Um, so, yeah. By the way, once you get your hunger and your blood sugar and all that stuff under control, you'll find that you, don't, you just don't need to eat as much. So the main way that you start losing weight then is by going from three meals a day to two and then eventually from two down to one and a half or even just one meal a day. And then the weight really comes off, you know. And that's living proof without exercise. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm doing about one and a half meals a day. And I'm trying to stay around 170 pounds. Even though my scale scared the heck out of me the other day, it showed me I was down to 167. I haven't weighed myself in a while. And uh, I don't know, I gotta, I've gone back to eating some more amount of carbs per day, trying to keep it healthy with fruit, you know, and berries. Um, the last thing I want to do is eat donuts and stuff. Uh, or normal cookies instead of the healthy cookies that, that I make. But I gotta start eating some more carbs per day or I'm just gonna disappear into nothing, I guess. Um, trying to keep it around 170. But it just shows you the impact of carbs. If I eat more carbs, I'll gain the weight back and get it back up to 170. If I eat too few carbs, I'll just start dropping and dropping and dropping. And eventually you just get to be too, too skinny, you know? Um, oh, that's another thing. When you weigh yourself, get a good scale, check out Consumer Reports, uh, what they recommend. We got their scale that they recommended as the most reliable, most accurate and all that. Didn't cost that much. I wish uh, I, I could remember the name brand, but just look it up online. What does Consumer Reports recommend as the number one scale or whatever? And uh, you want to do it at the same uh, part of the day 
the most accurate thing to do is when you wake up in the morning because you've been fasting overnight, right, while you sleep. So you get up, make sure you're naked every time uh, to keep it consistent. You don't want different kinds of clothing to affect your weight. So make sure you're naked and ideally you wouldn't have drunk or eaten anything. Uh, so weigh yourself first thing in the morning and it'll always, you'll be always comparing apples to apples. Ideally, you would uh, take, a, take a leak first, you know, use the bathroom first, then weigh yourself. So do that every time. Get up, naked, use the bathroom, then weigh yourself to keep it as accurate as possible. So then every day you're weighing yourself that way. And uh, quite frankly, don't forget to take measurements because that'll really encourage you if your weight loss ever slows down or fluctuates, uh, you'll, you, you may notice that you're still losing inches instead of necessarily weight. What else here? Here's a really good thing to bake with. Swerve brand brown sugar. This is primarily erythritol. Let's see. Yep. Well, some vegetable glycerin. That's good stuff. Remember, vegetable glycerin, that's used a lot in making cake frostings. Um, that's a very safe, uh, good sugar alternative to use. Swerve makes a, gra a white granular version of their sugar and also even a confectioner's version, which is like powdered sugar. Good stuff for baking. Uh, here's the glycerin. <clears throat> we get this from Amazon. In case you're wondering about a brand. Vegetable glycerin. It's very sweet. And I use that in making ice cream a lot. Essential Depot, I guess, is the name, the brand name. Food grade. Um, to make ice cream, it's really simple. Take a blender. In the blender, dump a bunch of uh, heavy cream. Add your flavoring. If you like coffee ice cream, like I do, throw in some freeze-dried coffee. Again, just everything to taste, you know. Um, or make strawberry ice cream. Throw in a bunch of strawberries to taste. Strawberries aren't very carby. Then, very carefully measure in some sucralose. Eventually, you'll know exactly how much to put in. Remember that? Hard rhino. And uh, blend it up. The, uh, it'll firm up in the blender. And then throw it in the freezer. And a few hours later, you've got ice cream. It's that simple. Oh, but uh, you need the glycerin. A good... Uh, Gosh, at least a quarter cup. It depends on how much ice cream you make. But at least a quarter cup of this, maybe even half a cup. It, again, it all depends on how much ice cream you make. You have to experiment around, see what works best. But this not only sweetens some, but it'll also keep the ice cream from being too rock hard crystalline, you know. Makes it, keeps it creamy, is what I should say. Here, another great... Uh, low carb treat is Atkins bars. They are expensive, but hey, when you're not eating much, you know, you've gone from three meals a day to two meals a day, you're saving 33% on your food budget. When you go down to one and a half meals a day, you're saving 50% on your food budget. With uh, inflation the way it is these days, that's a big deal, right? Eventually, maybe you go down to one meal a day. That's 67% less food cost per week, per month, per year. So anyway, consider the cost. Uh, I mean, consider the savings of money that you're doing by not eating so much when you think of the cost of keto and low-carb foods like this. This has three net carbs. Atkins brands. They're all pretty much all delicious, and uh, but they do cost a bit. Let's see. 
15 carbs per bar. Oh yeah, you have to subtract out 8 grams of fiber and 4 grams of glycerin, like the vegetable glycerin I just showed you. So 15 minus 8 is 7. 7 minus 4 for the glycerin is 3. Well, what do you know? 3 net carbs. Anyway, here's another one. Caramel Nut Chew Bar. Absolutely great. 2 net carbs per bar. What else? You know, that's about it. Yeah. Um, basically, the main objections I've heard is that people don't want to put artificial sweeteners into their bodies. Well, think about it. You know, you're not, it's not like you're forcing uh, massive quantities of artificial sweeteners down your throat like they do the lab rats uh, when they're testing out these artificial sweeteners in the laboratory. You know, they're overdosing these rats and mice on, on these sweeteners and they're finding, you know, problems with their bodies then eventually. Well, give me a break. You're not eating that much of these artificial sweeteners. And when compared to sugar, they're very safe and very healthy. Uh, sugar is what is mostly, you know, harming and killing Americans prematurely. So consider the effects of high blood sugar and all the damage that does to your body. Then your body has to try to fight the damage that's done uh, by the blood sugar with cholesterol. You don't eat enough cholesterol through bacon and eggs and steak and pork and whatever. Um, your body has to make the cholesterol in order to heal itself. So don't talk to me about high cholesterol. That's a bunch of bull. If you think doctors are correct about, you know, nutrition, then how is it that we have an, an, an epidemic of obesity and people being overweight in this country and all the health problems that have come with that? So these doctors know a lot, but if you get them in a candid moment, they'll admit to you how little they've studied nutrition in medical school. So you got to educate yourself. This is your body. It's your one shot at life and uh, educate yourself and make wise decisions. So once more, here's the abs living proof that this works without exercise lost about 50 pounds and uh, even cheated along the way could have done it a lot in a lot less time but uh, since this is a lifestyle not a diet we just thought what the heck we'll take our time and enjoy the ride um, and stay tuned because right now i'm going to show you some pretty shocking before and after pictures well the shocking part is the before picture uh, but uh, I'll contrast that before picture with some after pictures. All right, thanks for watching and take care.